It has been a quite a while since I've done a review on this Dune HD Homatix Box R 4K Plus. That's quite a mouthful for a device. But anyway, I've been using this uh, device quite extensively. And the more I use it, the more impressed I am. And I'm going to show you why I'm impressed. I am especially impressed with the Dune HD Media Center app that's running on this device. So that's what I'm going to be concentrating on and showing you what it can do. So that's what we're going to do right now is check out that Media Center. Under Movies with All, it shows everything that's available on these different services. But that's not what I'm going to show you. But those are available. This is my collection, and that's what that means is these are my media. Those are my movies that I have either recorded over the air on the antique over the air antenna or have ripped from my uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K videos. So that's what this is, and that's what I'm going to show you. This is the only thing that this device does not support. It does not support the DTS HD MA. Now, it's my understanding that this system on the chip, the AmLogic chip, does not support that. So, that I'm not sure, but this device does not play those audio codecs. This is the only thing that this device does not support. It does not support the DTS HD MA. Now, it's my understanding that this system on the chip, the AmLogic chip, does not support that. So that I'm not sure, but this device does not play those audio codecs. These are Dolby Digital, DTS, Comedy, Sci-Fi, Fantasy. Anyway, it breaks it down in all these different uh, genres. Now here is, now this is the different sources of my media. So right there, the only thing it will play is my UHD movies, and that's what we'll show. And these are my Blu-ray movies. Under Blu-ray movies, yes, I misspelled movies a long time ago, and I am not going to change it. Okay, these are all of my uh, Blu-ray movies. And if you notice to the right over there, it gives you synopsis, but it gives you the information. It's an MKV 1080 and 23.976 frames per second. And it's an AVC and it's got true HD audio. So that one will play perfectly. So I'll take a look at that and show you what I mean. Okay, that's the first screen when I click on it. Description, trailers, cast, crew is similar. Now, this is amazing. But anyway, let's go back to play. Then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I use the information from my TV, a Vizio TV, it shows it. The resolution is 1080p, frame rate 24 frames, audio is Dolby Audio, and no HDR. Okay, so that's what it shows, 24 frames per second. Now I'll show you a, a 4K movie. All right, we'll take a look at the UHD movies. So I'll pick one out and show you. Now this one is Lawrence of Arabia. If you notice, it plays in Atmos. So let's see if my AVR shows that Dolby Atmos when it starts playing. Uh, you can't see that obviously, but I'll have you'll have to believe me when I describe what I see on my Yamaha receiver. Okay, if you notice the data from my TV, the information, it shows 2160p, 24 frames per second. And it shows Dolby Atmos. Now my Yamaha receiver shows Atmos slash PCM. So it does show Dolby Atmos. It is an Dolby Vision. So that is playing in Dolby Vision. The reason the screen is black, that's the way it starts out. So I'll fast forward a little bit. So 
that's the way it's, the movie starts out. It's, it's not a black screen. Okay, that's it right there. Okay, let's scroll back up a minute. Now I want to take a look at uh, right there, the HDR10. I have two movies that are in HDR10. We're going to see if indeed it does play in HDR10. Well, there you go. It says MKB 4K 23.976, and it's HDR10 plus. DTS HD. And again, this device does not play the DTS HD. It converts it to just plain DTS. So we'll go ahead and check it out. Again, there's some more eye candy when you first bring it up. Okay, it shows 2160p, 24 frames per second, DTS audio, and HDR10+. Okay, that's what I want to show you. That this does everything except the DTS HD. So, very nice... Uh, media player for uh, right around 150 less than 150 us dollars so it is fantastic and again thank you for watching but i just wanted to show you the capabilities of it